Hey gorgeous, it's Carlene. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing some fragrances that I have been obsessed with. As my fellow fragrance family, I know you all know that every now and again, you get a fragrance or a few fragrances that you just fall in love with and cannot put down and wear over and over again until you get tired of them. And whenever that happens, I plan on posting a currently obsessed with video for you all. So that's what we're talking about today. The fragrances that I have not been able to put down, they are at the front of my mind when it comes to fragrance. So if you're interested in hearing all of that, then please keep watching. Hey friend, welcome back to the channel. I hope your day has been going amazing and I'm super grateful that you chose to hang out with me today. To those of you who are new here, on this channel I talk luxury, I do review videos, I share my fragrance journey, and I also sprinkle in a little bit of lifestyle in my monthly vlogs. So if any of those things sound good to you, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos drop. All right, let's get into it. So I do want to keep this video fairly short, so we're not gonna get into too many notes, but I will share what these fragrances feel like and what I love about them. And this first one I have here is a new one to my collection. It was on my wish list for such a long time, and this is Bora Bora by Giardini di Toscana. Bora Bora is everything to me because I love a good gourmand and I love a good white floral fragrance and this combines those two things in a bottle perfectly. To me this is very floral prominent but it's a floral that is coated in just sweet creamy caramel goodness and there is a bit of a tropical vibe a tropical nuance to this fragrance. This does have jasmine and jasmine lactone which is a note that combines the aspects of jasmine with creamy and lactonic notes and this is so so delicious smelling but it's also very perfumey smelling it smells tropical it's just so so good yes this is so delicious and as someone who did not end up picking up Bianco Latte this gives me Bianco Latte vibes on the deep deep dry down but with a floral and tropical twist. And this is also super duper long lasting. This is a beast mode fragrance. So it performs similarly to Bianco Latte. And I just absolutely love this. And I'm glad that this was the one that I added to my collection. I feel like this is worth it. And for the price, you get a lot of fragrance. It's 3.4 fluid ounces of fragrance. And not just any fragrance, a gorgeously blended fragrance that is beast mode and long lasting. Oh, this is so good. So this is one of the ones that I have been loving. As a matter of fact, I think I might make this my scent of the day. I'm all dressed up. We're going to head out today to get out of the house. I haven't chosen my fragrance yet, but I think this might be in the running. It's either this or the next one. So the next one that I referenced is one that I have not been able to put down. I picked up a travel size and I instantly immediately upgraded to a full size bottle after really experiencing the fragrance for a couple of days. And this is the newest Kayali Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar 42. This is such a perfect fragrance for me, for my collection, because I love fragrances that have elements of femininity and playfulness and a gourmand touch with also elements of sensuality. And this fragrance is all of that. I love, love, love how they captured all of that and encapsulated it in this bottle. So this is one that I might wear today because it fits the vibe. This passes the vibe check because this is all of those things. When I first sprayed this, I was not impressed and I was a little worried because I had ordered the travel size. Even though I wasn't that worried, it was only the travel size, but I was a little worried that this was going to be a bust for me. I had heard people saying that it smells like LaBelle and I decluttered LaBelle not because I didn't love the fragrance, but because it's so hot here that I found myself wearing it less and less and less. When I first got LaBelle, I wore it all the time and then I started to feel like it was too cloying, probably because it matured and got even stronger over time and so living in Florida it was just a little too much and I feel like this one gives me some LaBelle vibes in the opening it does have a pear note in the opening and vetiver at the base so I feel like that pear accord that vetiver accord is what's giving us LaBelle but this is so much more than that and that real heavy LaBelle vibe only lasts about the first five minutes or so and then at the 10 minute mark you start getting a sugary sweet slight powderiness from the violet in 
here and then it dries down to something very creamy and fluffy with traces of that pear this is so so yummy it's so feminine it's so sensual it's so playful sexy it's all of those things so this is Kayali vanilla candy rock sugar 42 and this might be in the running for what ends up being my scent of the day today so speaking of feminine fragrances, this next one is one that is the epitome of femininity in a bottle. And this is Janoon Rose by Al Haramein. Janoon Rose is supposed to be a dupe for Blossom Love by Amouage. And I find that it's a really close dupe. It's not exact, but it is a very, very close dupe. I did a video all about this fragrance, so I will link it here so you can watch the comparison to see how similar it is and how it differs from the OG. But this fragrance is super soft, super powdery. It has a beautiful rose, and then it also has complexity to it. It has this intoxicating amaretto note and a cherry blossom note that I feel like together make this really addictive, really intoxicating, give it body, especially in the opening. And then the dry down is so soft and sweet and super girly and I love this fragrance. If you do not love powdery scents, this does have a powdery accord. This also has a rose accord. So if you don't like those two notes, you may not enjoy this one. However, as someone who doesn't really like a heavy rose, I don't like a deep red rose, this rose is more like a soft pink rose. And then those powdery notes in the warmer weather, I feel like keep you smelling really fresh and clean and soft. And this is also a fragrance that has this inviting touch to it because in my imagination this is what someone who's ultra nurturing would be wearing they would smell very soft very feminine very delicate and when I think about the women in my life who I was always drawn to they kind of had this aura about them so anyways this is all how remains Janoon Rose and another one of my absolute favorites I'm obsessed with this scent speaking of very nurturing very feminine and very inviting this next one has all of those elements but unlike Janoon Rose, which is beast mode, this one wears closer to the skin. And so if you're not a beast mode type of girl and you do not want your fragrance to walk into a room before you do, then you may enjoy this one because it wears closer to the skin. This is a celebrity scent and this is Cosmic by Kylie Jenner. Cosmic is one that I fully expected to just feel meh about. But let me tell you, this has quickly become one of my most favorite fragrances. I will definitely be purchasing a refill so that I can refill this bottle. They do have a refillable option because it's that good. It does not smell like a celebrity scent and I really appreciate that because most of my celebrity scents that I've picked up in the past, I've had to declutter. The only celebrity scents I currently still have in my collection are Kardashian and Beyonce Heat. Kardashian is this beautiful tuberose scent. It's just so gorgeous. I love how fresh and floral and feminine that one is. And then Beyonce Heat I got really for nostalgic purposes because when I was in college, it was one of my first big girl purchases and it just brings back so many memories. So I have it in my collection for nostalgic purposes. And all of my other celebrity scents I decluttered, but this one, this one does not feel like a celebrity scent. Um, this one feels refined. It smells expensive. It's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the soft, ambery, kind of cashmere vibe of this fragrance. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This reminds me of Donna Karen's Cashmere Mist. It kind of has those same vibes. It's very translucent and sheer and warm because of the amber that's at the mid. This has a gorgeous peony and I love peony in fragrances. And I find that peony is so sweet. It's like a very beautiful, sweet floral note. And this is just amazing. It's amazing. It's so soft. It wears closer to the skin. In. however you could build this up to like a mid in terms of projection and the other thing I love about this fragrance is I find it to be quite long-lasting so although it wears closer to the skin although it projects very softly it's very long-lasting so this is Cosmic by Kylie Jenner another one that I've been so obsessed with okay so I'm not going to bore you all with my thoughts on this next one just know that I'm obsessed with this one this is the newest Killian sun kiss goddess this fragrance when I spray it out when I smell it ugh, it just puts me in the mind of the most luxurious 
resort and this would be the perfect vacation scent for that purpose this is the kind of vacation scent you wear to a dinner while you're on vacation a very special dinner because this has tropical elements but it's also very rich and resinous and sweet and deep and i love the complexity in this fragrance a lot of people have said that this reminds them of manoi so think of manoi think of tiare that's what this fragrance kind of smells like but like a very creamy version of it this is just so so good y'all i also really love the elaine note in this fragrance a note that i have been obsessed with because it does have those really buttery rich sweet meaty dense nuances and facets to it so this fragrance is so addictive and alluring in my opinion and it is a tropical scent taken to another level this is an elevated tropical scent it's so so yummy and sophisticated very refined very deep bold very alluring with a bit of mystery in there this has a mystique this has a quiet luxury vibe this is sunkissed goddess by killian another one that i'm obsessed with so speaking of mysterious and deep and alluring and sensual this next arabian fragrance nails it when it comes to that and it also has very feminine and soft facets as well this is noir d'arabie by pandora Scents, a paris corner line of fragrances and this is supposed to be a dupe of montal's arabian's tonka this is an amazing dupe this is such a beautifully complex fragrance that nails witty creamy and very bold aspects with soft and feminine and floral facets mm, this is intoxicating it's intoxicating y'all it is so good and i never would have thought that a profile like this would fit my personality because it's very deep and bold but this has a powdery aspect to it and it has a rose and it has a sugared aspect at the base so it's very creamy and sugary at the base and i think that's why i love this so much so you get like a saffron in the opening you get rose at the mid and then you get sugar and all of those creamy aspects at the base of this fragrance i feel like at the mid of this fragrance the rose and the wood kind of create this soft feminine powdery vibe that's similar to what i smell in janoon rose but then this has very creamy aspects it has amber sugar tonka and a light musk at the base which just gives it this creamy vanilla and warm dry down and this just smells so sugary sweet at the dry down and this is just the ultimate deep and sensual and cozy fragrance I cannot get enough of this. This is so good. If you're on a budget but you love the Arabian's Tonka DNA, try this one. This is Noir d'Arabi from Pandora Scent. So this last one is one that I have a review up for. Please go and watch that video. This is a newbie to my collection and one that has notes that I absolutely adore. And this is Melon Kiss by Navitas and Gabby Loves Perfumes. This fragrance has been maturing quite nicely. And when I tell you this is so yummy and delicious, it really is. What I love about this fragrance is it opens up with a melon note and while i do wish the melon note stuck around a little bit longer what i can appreciate is that the melon note does not stick around from beginning to end because i feel like if the melon note were present all the way into the dry down it could get a little tiresome for me because in real life i don't actually like honeydew melon or those types of melons i love a good watermelon but the other melons are kind of those fruits that i don't eat in a fruit salad they just kind of sit there i just kind of pick around them and eat the grapes and the strawberries and all the other fruits and i just kind of leave those till the very end if i'm being honest but in a fragrance i was really excited to get a melon note and i love it it's so good and what i absolutely adore about this fragrance is it gets super creamy on the dry down i think they nailed it with the creamed honey i love how creamy and rich this gets without being cloying so this is the perfect spring and summer fragrance i have come to love this fragrance it is that good y'all now i don't feel like this performs like an extrait de parfum i feel like you'll get about four hours i've gotten about four hours of where where the fragrance is projecting with this one so in that regard i do feel like this is more of an eau de parfum performance wise this is long lasting and you can build it up to a very high projection but again i feel like this performs more like an eau de parfum it's so delicious it's so yummy also this is very unisex I find that it leans slightly more feminine, but it's a unisex fragrance nonetheless. So this is Melon Kiss by Navitas 
and Gabby loves perfumes. Okay, y'all, so we have come to the end of this video. If you're still here, thank you so much for still being here. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable, be sure to hit that like button on your way out because that really does help my channel. And also, if you love these kinds of videos, I would love to have you here because I do quite a bit of fragrance content on this channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you never miss another video. So friend, I'm not sure what you're faced with today. Maybe you have a really big decision you have to make. Maybe you have a really big test that's coming up. Maybe you have an interview that's coming up. Maybe you're looking for a job right now. Maybe you're waiting for a test result right now. Whatever is going on in your life, I just want to encourage you that you got this and not only do you have this but I'm praying for you I'm praying for your success and whatever it is that you have going on in your life today thank you so much for watching this video I will see you in the next one very soon bye